I would put into each new attempt. I was always so sure that I would finally make it work. I would weigh myself, measure myself, write down my goals, stay up late reading about the food plan I was about to start, and then commence with fanfare and tons of enthusiasm. And it would work. I'd start to lose weight. Then there would be some kind of Twilight Zone time warp, and a few months later, I would be even fatter than before and rallying the effort for yet another attempt. What always happened between point A and point B? And why was I not really online and aware of the unraveling of that attempt? Let's go back to the fact about the 99% of people who fail to lose all their excess weight. First, it's strange that people are failing so badly. And second, it's strange that we're not noticing that it's strange. It's bizarre that this phenomenon is happening right under our noses and nobody is noticing. Why doesn't anybody seem to wonder why smart, capable, educated, successful, motivated people who really want to get slender just can't do it? I really want us as a society to understand that we do not have an obesity problem. We have an obesity mystery. The problem itself doesn't make any sense. There's no other field of endeavor that I'm aware of where intelligence, determination, talent, and capability have so little bearing on the outcome. When I was trying to lose weight, it totally baffled me that I couldn't do it because I was capable in so many other areas. I had earned a PhD in brain and cognitive sciences. I had good friends. I was happily married. I ran a marathon. I was fat when I ran that marathon, but I ran it nonetheless. I couldn't even jog to the mailbox when I first started, but I put my mind to it, and with some friends in graduate school, we trained hard, and we did it. We ran a 26.2-mile marathon without taking a single walking step, and I lost 10 pounds. I had 60 pounds to lose, but I merely lost 10 of them. Exercise is not the answer. So what is? Well, that's what I'm going to explain in this book. I'm going to present you with information on how the brain blocks weight loss and exactly what you can do about it. Because there is a solution. Thousands of people in my Brightline Eating Boot Camps have used this method to lose weight, collectively over 300,000 pounds so far, And the number who have lost all their excess weight and are keeping it off continues to rise. I'm talking about people who have lived their entire adult lives excessively overweight, who are now thin, something they never imagined was ever going to be possible for them. Brightline eating gave them hope again. It delivered on the promise. It solved the mystery. I wrote this book because I want everyone to have that solution. The information contained in these pages is vital to changing our cultural understanding of what being overweight is, not a willpower deficit and not a moral shortcoming, rather the byproduct of a brain hijacked by modern food. And more crucially, I want to show you what a solution that works actually looks like. It's not about six small meals a day, free days, or even lots of exercise. I will teach you about bright lines automaticity, and support. Bright lines are clear, unambiguous boundaries that you just don't cross, like a non-smoker just doesn't smoke. They work because they align with how the brain works. No one should have to suffer in a body that doesn't bring them joy. No one should spend a single additional minute feeling like a failure because conventional diets that don't work with our brain chemistry fail them. If you've almost given up attempting to lose weight because you're exhausted from trying so hard and not succeeding, if your health has become an issue and you've got to make a change, or if you just have a few pounds to lose and you really would like to shed them and keep them off, then I have good news. You can learn why your brain has been blocking you from losing weight and adopt a simple system that will permanently turn that around. You no longer have to feel lost in a flood of confusing and contradictory information on how to eat, or languish on the couch overeating late into the evening knowing you're choosing suicide on the installment plan, or feel like you're...